Hey trainers, welcome back to Pokemon Deck Check. I would be Pognat. I'm the Dancing Bird for Space. Today on Pokemon TCG, I'm Broken Bones, Deck Profile, Coughing, Wheezing, Hazing, and Cocoing, right? All of the above. Yeah. Super fun. Let's get into it. Alright, starting it off with four coughing, four wheezing, four tapu coco, three jirachi, one oranguru, one marshadow. Okay, so idea of the deck is you want to get Weezing into the active, and when he's in the active, you can activate his ability where he does 10 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon, active and the bench. So you can see where we're going with the free retreat with Coco and the spread with Coco. That, and then, of course, Drachi's engine naturally plays a bunch of switches and a skateboards. So... Plus, uh, we play four Guzma, so we're going to be able to just manipulate the damage all over the place. Much better than just doing flying flip each turn, right? Yeah. Now, having said that, do I think it's better than our Turbo Coco deck? Not quite sure, but this is definitely more fun to play, right? This is a mm -hmm. lot of fun to play. I don't know how competitive it is. There was in day two, but we don't have access to the list on Limitless, so we're just having to guess. But this is, and we, we took it for a few test runs, and this is a lot of fun to play, folks. It's a lot like the old Flygon deck that there is. Yep, 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 yep. Now, um, we have thought about the Tapu Lele that uh, lets you move around the spread damage. Um... Any other additions that we've thought about adding that you can think of? I think that's the only one. Yeah, I think just the Tepalele spread. Or not spread, but the uh, where you can move the damage counters around. Might be your only option as far as uh, different Pokemon to use. So, that's it. Looks good. On to the items. There's four Mysterious Treasure, four Nest Ball, Three choice span, two escape board, two escape rope, two switch, two rescue stretcher, and one energy lotto. If we could play four of each of these, then we absolutely would, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so much fun and so ridiculous. That 10 damage, you know, each, think about it. Each time you play this card, that adds a potential, what, 60 damage? So. You know, it's pretty pretty busted when you think about it. So, uh, I, I would not go down here. These eight are needed to set up the deck properly. Energy Lot is always nice to find out or to grab Connor Energy or DCE. Got your two Rescue Stretchers so you can get uh, Cocos or whatever back. Uh, two escape boards, that's fine. You know, it'd be nice to have third, but it'd also be nice to have a 4-4 four, four line here. The only questionable addition is going to be the choice band. Now, we went back and forth on sp spell... What are, what are they called? Spell tag. Spell tag or choice band. And we've opted for choice band... Because, I mean, I, at the end of the day, I feel like people are going to want to eliminate the threat, which is probably your Coco, right? Mm hmm So, they're going to try to take out the Coco regardless, rather than focus on your wheezing, right? Yeah. So And if it has a spell tag on it, then they're going to be targeting Coco anyways, right? I think if you're able to use the choice band and attack two times with it, that's more efficient than the spell tag, because that's four damage with the spell tag and choice band six so that's plus two damage counters i agree um but i could definitely see an argument for spell tag so this is kind of a uh three card preference honestly i can see both sides of the fence there just choice band fits our play style a little more supporters for guzma yep Three Cynthia. Yes, sir. And four Lily. Uh-huh. Perfect uh, engine for a spread deck. 
seven nice draws and then lots of switching i mean folks this is ridiculous here we have a coco gets knocked out you put wheezing up activate the ability guzma up a, a slug or something put up your next wheezing hit them again do an escape rope maybe you put up uh drachi activate its ability get some other goodness and then retreat the drachi into coco and then spread so i mean that that's 40 damage on everything that's on par with ultra necrozma's gx attack that adds that does 60 across everything okay yeah and you get a slug in the active so you have to think there's so much potential with this deck to just go nuts and just put damage everywhere on your opponent's side of the bench so we, we we've had spread decks before but not like this right right so I think it's honestly an untapped uh, concept and stadiums for shrine of punishment there's more damage now we're talking five potential five damages on like especially against a Zor deck I mean Shrine is your friend, folks. I mean, when you add in the Shrine plus the coughing and wheezing plus Cocoa Spread, I we're talking massive, massive damage for one prize attacker. DCE done or counter energy. I mean, it's just super good, folks. And it's a tremendous amount of fun to play. Then on to the energy. There's four DC and four counter energy. We have thought about uh, using triple Tri accelerated, but we found that um, you're going to be behind in prizes, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, let's be realistic here. You're going to be going down in prizes, and then typically you take like several prizes all in one turn. One or two turns. So uh, there's more value in counter energy rather than... Attaching triple accelerated, attacking with Coco, and then doing that. Because then what happens is they see, well, Coco's not really a threat anymore because it doesn't have the energy, and they could just uh, Guzma up something else. You can also use Weezing's attack with the counter energy since it goes for one colorless. The Weezing, all it takes is one colorless, and you can hit for 40. Yep, so... Yeah, and that works out good with counter energy since it's uh, if you're even in prizes or ahead, then it's just uh, counts as one colorless. So keep that in mind. All right, we just we found more value with the counter energy rather than triple boost. So maybe you can run Dugong. So the triple. So that's the deck. Lots and lots of fun. There's definite room for. Uh, to play around with the three choice band and maybe some other options if you don't like the drachi uh so you could cut the drachi plus the two escape boards that would give you five spots plus the three choice band so eight spots so there's definite room to play this is how we built it and how we've been playing it and i gotta tell you it's one of the most fun decks i've played so it's quite the joy yep so i don't know how competitive it is but i think there is definitely potential to be super competitive actually so got anything else dance bear i don't all right well that's it so till next time be excellent to each other and party on dudes